now. Oh, we're, we're back on the Morning Brew with Friends, and we're talking about the Grammys still on Tuesday morning because so much great stuff happened on Grammy night. And we were talking about Annie Lennox. I mean, how long has it been since we've seen her live on anything? Oh, it's I been know. a minute. She's so powerful. Oh, right. It's amazing. And I think a lot of people still think of her from the Eurythmics days, but her newer solo stuff is pretty great. But the stuff that was amazing was just Kanye and his nuttiness. Like that guy, <laughs> I love it. I can't get enough of Kanye's nuttiness. Every time you see him, he's like got something going on. And there's Kanye wearing, what is that he's wearing? I've been trying to figure this out. Is he wearing a bathrobe? It looks yeah. like a, I think he's wearing a bathrobe. Do we, I don't know if we have a photo of him. Yeah, there you go. And it's like, I want to, I, I, I don't remember from the show if it was like f floor length like that, but it looks like a bathrobe. But he, when Beck won his album of the year, he, he tells Beck, give me that thing back and give it to Beyonce. Mm -hmm. I couldn't believe it. I know that, that, of course, Kanye and Beyonce are great friends. But I mean, can you imagine, like, you win a Grammy for album of the year and you got this dude telling you, no, give it to my good friend? Because who did he say? You remember, remember who it was a second ago? Taylor Swift. I think. Taylor Swift. I think. I think you're right. I'm pretty sure. And he was like, Taylor, you better give it to Beyonce. Like, Beyonce is great. Don't get me wrong. I love her. But... I mean, what's it like, you think, to be that guy on stage and have somebody say, give your, give your award to this person instead? Pretty awkward. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> what do you say? Beck was a complete gentleman about it. Beck was like, no. <laughs> it's mine. I work for this. But has anybody heard the new Beck record? Yeah. How it's is really, it? It's really good. And I right? think what's really cool is he did, uh, he recorded every instrument and did all the production himself. Oh, right. So he really? played, he played cool. every, he wrote every cool. song. That's played very every talented. Yeah. Right. Pretty really? Super talented. Yeah. Wow. I don't think yeah. Beyonce can do that. But I don't think Beck no. can dance like Beyonce. I'm, I'm <laughs> I don't know, but. <laughs> That's just my guess. Yeah. But you're, this is your, when you're, your first time in Albuquerque, right? This is. up with people. And what do you think of it? I, I actually, I really like it. I really like it. The biggest difference between, for me, from Boston and Albuquerque is definitely, it's more spread out. Right. It's much more spread out out here, but I do like it. It's a really cool city. And no crazy, like, big digs, no crazy this is true. This weird is public transportation true. issues. Uh, but I think your, your experience is probably similar to many because the city was just named one of the top five places to visit in 2015 by Huffington Post. And I think this is pretty amazing. We have photos of some of the competitor cities here. Uh, this is Portland, which is a great town. I love Portland. It's a fun, fun, you know, hipster capital that it is. And then we got San Antonio, Texas. That's the river walk there that's just getting huge. And of we course, the year. Spurs. You were there in last year. Right. Oh, great what, town, right? What a great place to visit. Do you it's think incredible. that does Albuquerque stack up to? Uh, to San Antonio, you think? You don't have the river. Walk we don't have a river walk. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. You can go walk by our river. Yeah. Whether the do that all the time. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and you know, so when it comes to visiting, are you going to be like telling people come to Albuquerque as one of the top five places? Yeah. As you're as you're on the road with people. Yeah. As I'm as I'm on the road, I go to Mexico City next. So. Oh, cool. So I I do what I'm doing right now. Hablas español for uh, Mexico poquito. City. Poquito. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> The, and then this is kind of creepy, though. We were talking about this yesterday, maybe because we're all TV people here. We found this new TV that, you know, it's, it sounds kind of awesome, right? The new Samsung TV that you can, you know, talk to it, and it plays your show. You can say, Samsung TV, play The Morning Brew with friends, and then we show up, right? Which is pretty awesome. But it's kind of creepy because it's connected to the internet and constantly monitoring what you are saying in your house. I don't know if that's... Should we worry? Do you think that's something we should be concerned about? Yeah, I don't yeah. get that idea at all. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just constantly on. It's just constantly on, waiting for you to say, play the morning brew. Oh. <laughs> right? Or any of the shows on your public, actually. <laughs> but, I mean, would you be worried about your TV listening in and eavesdropping? Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Probably. Probably. Right. <laughs> right. And when your TV's talking back to you or paying attention, yeah, it's kind of an interesting thing. I don't know if that, you know, if it's good, bad, or just if anyone cares what I have to say to my TV, I don't know. But 
if the uh, you know can hear everything in your house because it's just constantly listening for things. Kind of 1984. A little bit, mm -hmm. a little well, bit. But what if you're watching a show and talking about a different show? That's what Does I was wondering. Does it know wondering. you don't want to switch, or is I, all of a sudden are you going to be watching a new? I show? I don't know that yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah like just I'm just curious. So I'm just curious. Right. Oh, yeah. That or could be my, pretty interesting. If right. my kid wants to watch one thing and I want to watch another. <laughs> oh, yeah, because it's a match. That's not house. a fight you want to get in between then. And yeah, then right. the TV's right in between. How does the TV yes. decide <laughs> which one to pick? <laughs> no doubt the TV's like, I don't know which one's paying the bills. Which <laughs> <laughs> one's screaming louder. <laughs> uh, can you imagine breaking bad and Saul side by side? Right. Oh. That'd be awesome. Wow. That'd be <laughs> awesome. And then, of course, I love this. I, I'm a guy who grew up loving the idea of space. And I'm also the guy who had a bunch of stuff hidden in my closet, but not like Neil Armstrong. He had this whole stash of stuff, moon artifacts, stashed in his closet that are, is now going to Smithsonian. I love this. I think we have a photo of all of his stuff. But it's this backpack full of things. It's clamps and moon rocks and all these things that he just kept. That's from, so cool. Right? Wow. Isn't that That's amazing? So cool. Like, could, how do you sneak that by? Now? Like, I don't think we do that <laughs> today. Like, you couldn't, like, you know, walk by the TSA guys in the airport and be like, it's just, just moon rocks in my bag. You couldn't sneak away with it today. But I guess in 1969, you get away with it, especially if you're Neil Armstrong. Mm -hmm. But he, he oh. kept all of this stuff. I mean, oh. what, I think it's amazing. And I want to go see it. Who's going to go to the Smithsonian with me and oh, go to awesome, right? right? <laughs> and see what Neil Armstrong kept. Because who... Who gets the chance to do that, and what do you keep? You know, what would you pick if you had, if you land on the moon, and you have all the stuff from NASA, and you, have, you get moon rock? What would you keep? The, the moon yeah, rocks. Sure, yeah. The moon rocks. Yeah. I would, I would probably keep some of the technological stuff. Yeah. You know, <laughs> the, 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 yeah, no doubt the helmet. I, the helmet, Space. the helmet was not actually part of it. Oh, there's the picture of the stuff there. Oh. And there's like the clamp for the oh, cool. the rope that he had that kept him tied to the to the lunar lander, um, and then the bottom right is the camera that they actually mm -hmm. filmed everything with, which is amazing. I love this, and I want to go see just you know what would he, if you had the chance to keep anything, what would you keep? Or maybe it was his junk. Maybe he was just you know tired of singing, so he just threw it in a bag and threw it in the closet. I don't know. But we're gonna be back with a final cup on the morning brew with friends. I'll tell you what we got coming up tomorrow, and a whole lot more on the morning brew with friends.